An issue in which criminals do whatever they want under the name of justice cannot be left alone. Only now does the government speak of taking countermeasures. But their actions are too little, too late. The government as it stands has been left behind the times. It is obsolete. If this is a ship that's bound to a rotting dock and destined to sink, we might as well destroy it once. Let us end this chaos through my hands and yours. He's a politician of the ruling party, isn't he? I heard they're splitting up to form a new party, so an election might come before the year's end. I'm gonna vote this time for sure. This man has my support. You haven't voted until now? That's problematic as a member of society, you know. Politics just never interested me before. But this politician seems pretty amazing. He's passionate and thinks of the future. I mean, someone like that should be Prime Minister. I'm definitely voting for him. Well, I suppose that makes sense, since the other politician seems so unreliable. When you say that you want us to cooperate with you, what exactly do you intend us to do? That's a good question. But might I have a cup of coffee first? Quit effing around! Please keep this short. There's a bounty for information in addition to the arrest warrant. Those are quite desperate measures. I'm referring to Sai-san's actions. I assume all of you were at your wit's end as well. She must be considerably vexed if she's gone that far. Make headlines with the arrest warrant, then use incentives to get testimonies. It's not a bad method. The police have nothing on us. There's no way they can make an arrest. True. I'm the only one who's ascertained your true identities. However, the groundwork for fabricating testimonies and concocting a culprit are underway. We don't care about that self-gratification. Get on with it! I'll be blunt. I'm thinking of triggering a change of heart in Sai-san. I've already discovered that she has a palace. Huh? Really? Is this to prevent the investigation agency's recklessness? Precisely. Still, there's no need to change her heart just for that. Indeed. It's hard to believe that a single person can fabricate all that. Unfortunately, that's not the case. What if I told you that those around her would turn a blind eye to false evidence? Are you saying the police would do such a thing? It seems they're more trusted than I thought. Their priority is settling the situation. They don't care who the supposed culprit is. No! They're completely rotten! My objective is to find the true culprit. That must be the case for all of you, too. However, the current situation is extremely bad. If worse comes to worst, someone unrelated will be set up as the culprit, huh? Our only solution to this is to make Sai-san come to her senses. If she's in her right mind, she can stop this situation. Her sense of justice wouldn't allow it. So that's why... The truth will be covered up, and an innocent civilian's life will be destroyed. I can't allow such a thing to happen. My own ethics won't stand for it. I mean... I guess I can understand how you feel. And changing Sai-san's heart will be to protect her as well. How do you mean? If the true culprit were to learn that she's responsible for the investigation, what would happen? I'm certain they'll aim for her life. She's the perfect target to place blame on the Phantom Thieves. So how about it? Will you agree to my plan? Even though you're particular about being just, you're willing to get your hands dirty? It can't be helped in order to ascertain the truth. There is also one more merit in changing Sai-san's heart. It will become a warning to not mess with us. They can't go public if someone in the investigation has a change of heart. It'd show their corruption. All that's left from there is for me to discover the identity of the true culprit. 
What do you mean? You're gonna tell us to announce our disbandment once the real culprit is arrested, aren't you? As expected from Anijima. So, what do you say? I don't think it's a bad deal for either of us. Makoto, what's your take on all this? It's a well-made plan. It even takes putting an end to our team into consideration. I'm flattered to hear that. Why are you willing to do all this, Akechi-kun? Why do you seek justice? Because of sickening human beings. Yes. My contempt for such people drives my sense of justice. It isn't some grand reason like society's sake or some lofty ideal. It's simply an absurd grudge. And extremely personal. Dude. You know, doesn't he remind you of us? Yeah, like how some disgusting adult pissed him off. We're similar, hmm? Maybe that's why I thought that I could ask this of you all. Won't you cooperate with me on the mission to change Sai-san's heart? Thanks. <laughs> I was actually rather worried there. This mission can't succeed without your cooperation, after all. The Phantom Thieves will be disbanded, and everything will work out. I pray it does. Mako-chan. I'm okay. I never brought it up until now, but the reason I joined the Phantom Thieves is because I wanted to change my sister's heart. I was hoping it had never come to pass, though. I've also known for quite some time that she has a palace. Why didn't you tell us? It was too selfish of a reason. Though I was too scared to look any further into it on my own. Why don't we try going there now to scope the place out? A lot of this will be new to me, so I'd like to get myself accustomed to it too. I I'm sorry, I actually have plans today. I see. That's unfortunate. Will you tell your sister about this? Of course not. It's just... You seem awfully evasive today. Is something the matter? I just can't make time today. Let's call it a day then, and resume this tomorrow. I'm sorry, everyone. Wasn't Makoto acting a bit weird? Well, I guess that can't be helped. Regardless, it all starts tomorrow. I hope this goes well. A palace? In me? Not only that, Goro Akechi? Then the Phantom Thieves targeted me as per his advice? And he had already experienced the Metaverse by the time of the Okumura case? That can't be. I mean, he never said a word. Although, his attitude did change suddenly around that time. Akechi couldn't kept quiet about the most important details, and my own sister may be a Phantom Thief? If this is all true, I'm appalled as the commander of this operation. I alone was kept in the dark. So you became convinced of another's existence through the two mental shutdown cases. And if you were apprehended while falsely accused of those crimes, that villain would still be loose. That's why you targeted me? Not for your own preservation? That does make sense, more or less. If you simply wanted to evade capture, triggering my change of heart wouldn't guarantee anything. Your actions as Phantom Thieves would still be met with hostility. <sighs> no. 
If this villain does exist and is setting up your group, I would be targeted next. Did Makoto come up with that speculation? <laughs> Perhaps I'm overthinking things. You need to keep your focus. It seems you're completely worn out. But the look on your face isn't one of defeat. Why is that? I'm amazed. It seems you can still talk. When you were arrested, a man at the scene told you that you were sold out, correct? Those words normally hint at the existence of a traitor. However, if your story till now is true, one reason can be concluded. It's frustrating to admit, but at a certain point... No, most likely from the start. I was a mere puppet. Someone set up only to bear responsibility later. Someone intended your arrest, and the minimal staff directly involved were in their pocket. And if that's the case, true integrity would side with you. All right. No, I'm jumping to conclusions. I don't believe your story yet. There's something I need to confirm with you. Was a change of heart triggered in me? What happened in the time between entering my palace and your arrest? Tell me everything. What's this favor you need? It's late already. We'll be going to Nijima's palace, so I want to look into her. Things like her work ethic and relationships. It doesn't matter whether it's public or private. Those would help us come up with countermeasures in case we hit a roadblock in her palace. I can look up more, you know. Stuff like her repertoire of underwear. A girl shouldn't say things like that! You tell her too! Well, like her history with men. You're phantom thieves! Ahem. Also, I may be overthinking it, but my voice... Ow! Same as always. Let me finish first! <sighs> There's something else we want you to look into. Agora, para as notícias do dia. Ah lá, vamos nós. Primeiramente, a equipe de investigação anunciou que fez progresso na busca pelos Fentotis. O partido de oposição enviou votos de desconfiança para o atual gabinete. Isso junto de um plano para o novo partido do legislador Shido fez uma rachadura no governo, ou... Como posso dizer? Uh, separação no governo. Separação no governo. É, eu não entendi nada de falar de política. Minha nossa senhora. Sou péssimo por esse tipo de assunto. Mas... E onde vamos nos encontrar hoje? Ah, é mesmo. Nós nunca dissemos onde iríamos nos encontrar. No prédio da corte. Ah, onde fica isso, afinal? É o escritório do governo. Kasumi Gaseki. É, isso aí. <risos> de fato. Ah, eu já ouvi falar desse lugar. Mas nunca estive lá. É, eu também não. Não é um lugar onde pessoas normais costumam ir. Uou, apenas olhando o mapa já é impressionante. 
Departamento de Polícia, o Ministério da Justiça, o Escritório dos Promotores da Justiça e a Segurança Pública. Até o prédio da Dieta Nacional fica bem pertinho de lá. É sério? Que tipo de lugar assustador nós estamos indo? Nós não seremos pegos, não é? De acordo com a Cat, nossas identidades ainda não foram descobertas. Então nós iremos apenas nos jogar no território inimigo. Alguém já entrou em contato com a Cat. Nós iremos nos encontrar com ele lá. Fique de guarda, pessoal. Estamos entrando na jaula do leão. Holy shit, eu adorei essa metáfora, Makoto. So this is the courthouse. You can tell it's a revolting building just by looking at it. Let's hurry up and get started. Akechi, what did you find out? I rarely get to see Sai-san directly, but I figured out her course of action. On the 20th, an investigation will likely be done at Shujin Academy, as well as the Sakura residence. For real? Then that means our time limit is November 20th. But this should be a substantially forced operation. I doubt it'll take place before the 20th. We'll take your word. For now, we need to focus on infiltrating her palace. I concur. And we should probably get going soon. After all, people like us standing around here is quite unnatural. Well then? <gasps> That's... Huh? What about my smartphone? Oh. This is the model I wanted! You're so lucky! I'm so sorry. Until recently, Futaba was actually a... well... It's okay. Sai-san told me the gist. Oh, right. Akechi-kun, it may be best if you exchange contact info with everyone, too. Not just me. That's true. Ooh! <sighs> I'll send everyone's contacts to you later. Thanks. <laughs> well then, I hope we get along. I'll do my best. Praising you, I believe. Then shall we get started? We need to figure out what Makoto's sis thinks this courthouse is, right? I often hear her call it a place of competition in which she must always win. A competition, huh? That sounds like Sai-san. It'd be unbearable if you were put on trial for a reason like that. Although, a competition means it's a match of some sort. Might it be a martial arts ring? Conditions have not been met. Then, perhaps a stadium? Or maybe an arena? Conditions have not been met. There are other competitions besides fighting and sports. Gambling, then! How about a racetrack for horses? Other than that, there's pachinko, but does that count as gambling? We played cards during the school trip. Conditions have not been met. What else is there? It must be a casino. Candidate found. I definitely see Sai-san in you. <sighs> well, it's time we head in then. Beginning navigation.
head right past there and keep a low profile. <laughs> That's it, huh? What's going on here? We are looking at the courthouse, aren't we? Seems like it. Let's go. Right. is a casino. Everywhere else seems to be a normal cityscape. Isn't that... The police station, yes. I didn't know that the station and the courthouse were next to each other. Our attire hasn't changed. That must mean we aren't considered threats or hostiles yet. Right. Areas outside her courthouse palace must not be worthy of her attention. Wait, I always look like this. I'm special. Besides, I can't do anything in my cat form. The police station's also part of her work area, though, whenever arrests are made for her cases. I've brought her food and belongings when she was sent on loan to the police. We got no business with the cops, right? This might be the metaverse, but I don't want to go in a station. That reminds me. He'll need a code name too. Codename? Phantom Thieves can't go around using the real names, right? It ain't cool either. Just for reference, what is everyone else's? Skull. Mine's Fox. We pretty much decided on them with how we look, didn't we? What is it, Haru? Uh, oh, it's nothing. Then, perhaps Karasu will be best for me. You know, like a raven. Are your clothes all black or something? The reverse, actually. If our codenames are to hide our identities, wouldn't that be better? Karasu. He'd be the only Japanese-sounding one. Why not go with Crow instead? All right. From here on out, you're Crow. Got it. Now then. Let's head into the courthouse. Now then. É o mesmo de sempre. Primeiro, precisamos encontrar uma rota de fuga. Nós estamos dentro da saí. Quer dizer, melhor. Seria melhor dizer dentro do palácio da saí, mas eu, eu quero acreditar que eu tô dentro da saí. Seria muito melhor. Aí. Ah, oi Makoto. Não, eu não vi você aí. Ah, cara, a música desse palace é simplesmente uma das minhas trilhas sonoras favoritas de Persona 5. Talvez só perca pra Rivers in the Desert. É difícil Rivers in the Desert perder pra alguma coisa. E ela ainda nem sequer tocou aqui, mas... Cara, eu, eu, eu poderia ficar calado aqui... Não dá pra vir pra cá. Eu poderia ficar calado aqui e simplesmente deixar vocês ouvirem, mas não dá. Eu tenho que comentar. Então, apenas pesquise por Winds of Fate no YouTube. Vocês serão muito felizes. Enfim, vamos lá. Vamos entrar mais um pouquinho na saia em Nijima. <risos> ah, eu adorei isso. Oh. Então, significa que agora somos vistos como uma ameaça, correto? Cara, você pretende roubar um tesouro vestindo essa fantasia? Isso só significa que é assim que ele vê os rebeldes. Hmm. Não, na verdade, essa é minha imagem mental de como eu vejo uma pessoa que crava sua justiça. Bem, a sua máscara está mais para quem perfura do que crava alguma coisa. Tá fuck, raro, qual o seu problema? Mas deixando isso de lado, as pessoas aqui parecem completamente normais. Mas estamos num cassino muito iluminado. Não há dúvidas que isso daqui é um palace. Oh. Ah, é verdade. Crown não sabe bem sobre seres cognitivos. Ah, sim. É como uma topografia. Pessoas cognitivas existem baseado na percepção de seu governante de palace. Você provavelmente não entendeu nada porque ele usou essas palavras e termos bonitos, não é? No caso, 
já que eles parecem pessoas reais, significa que a visão da Saê para as pessoas não é muito distorcida. Mas, considerando o que eu vi antes, é difícil de não acreditar que esse daqui é um cassino de verdade. But... Nem todas as cognições são normais. No Palácio da Futab e do Okumura, nós tivemos que batalhar com eles. As pessoas podem parecer normais, mas nós temos que tomar cuidado. Principalmente com aqueles que parecem em posição de poder. É por isso que vocês passam o tempo inteiro. Ah... É, a Cat! Está surpreso? Hum... Essa é a primeira vez para mim. Estou um pouco nervoso. Apenas não nos atrase, Crown. Ah, é, eu tenho que falar Crown, não a Cat. Não irei permitir que isso aconteça. Ah, ok, então. Ok, é hora de entrarmos. Nosso prazo para essa missão é 20 de novembro. Qualquer dia mais tarde seremos pegos no mundo real. É claro que precisamos estabelecer uma roda de fuga antes para poder enviar o Colin Card, como sempre. Então os Colin Cards não são meros shows, mas fazem parte necessária na missão. Você pode parar de nos interromper. Holy shit! Ah, minhas sinceras desculpas. Muito bem, então vamos nessa. Caramba! Ela pegou pesado agora, boa Makoto. Muito bem, vamos começar a fazer a nossa rota de fuga. Ai, a Cat, você é realmente um amador. Essa é literalmente a parte mais demorada do Palace. E você fala como se fosse super fácil. E, hey, Deus, você sabia que... Sim, eu sei, esse daqui é o Palace do começo. Eu sei, foi o mesmo Palace também onde... Começou o jogo e aparentemente nós fomos traídos por alguém. Hey, Tente, você sabia que se alguém foi... Eu não quero que você diga. Tudo bem? Não se preocupe, pessoal. Os comentários estarão completamente livres de spoilers. Eu estarei cuidando deles 24 horas, 32 horas, 90 horas e 9 dias. Eu estou cuidando deles, não se preocupem. Vocês não vão receber spoiler por ler os comentários. Eu estou banindo... Eu não sei se eu já comentei isso, mas... Eu já bani cerca de 200 contas ou quase isso... Só de spoilers, então não se preocupem, ninguém vai comentar spoilers, eu prometo. Bom, agora que estamos no passo da seu, eu tenho que, eu não sei, eu não tenho uma boa visão topográfica. Ah, oh, pera! É aqui, ok. Vamos passar pra cá e passar pelo tubo de ventilação. <risos> Será que a Makoto tá atrás de mim, bem apertadinha comigo? Uh, quer dizer, bem-vindos. Agora apareçam seus tolos Chiefs. Uh, ela pode ver a gente. Vocês vieram atrás do tesouro, não vieram? Venham, deu só aqui, eu irei te mostrar onde está. O que? Nós não vamos cair no truque desses. <risos> não é uma mentira. Eu apenas quero uma briga justa. Vocês não vão fugir. Ou vão. Devemos fazer como ela diz. Não há porque nos escondermos agora. Não acredito. Lá já está a sair. Tá bom, eu posso descer, mas é porque eu quero ficar bem perto de vocês aí, mas... Eu não acredito. Logo no início do passe, já estamos indo encarar com a última Shadow de Persona.